Once upon a time, in television land, there lived a beautiful young princess who went out into her kingdom in an ingenious disguise. Associate producer? Wherever she went, she cast her magic spell on people. You got spunk. I hate spunk. The beautiful princess auditioned a court jester. You haven't met me. I'm Ted Baxter, the anchor man. Take that makeup bib off. Last night he wore it halfway through the shove. And she was befriended by a fairy godmother. I want to see you married, Mary. Phyllis, say it. You're hurting my hand. And she was attended by a lady in waiting. Do you always look this good when you wake up in the morning? I look like Ed Sullivan. Let the beautiful princess work her wonderful magic for you on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Now let's get together with Mary Tyler Moore. She'll make you happy. How will you make it on your own? This world is awfully big. And girl, you'll be so far from home. But it's time you started living. It's time you let someone else be. So, here I am in Minneapolis. New life, new job. Well, not a new job yet. First, I had to go on an interview at a local TV station. The head of the news department seemed interested in my experience. How old are you? 30. No hedging? No, how old do I look? Why hedge? How old do I look? 30. <laughs> What's your religion? Mr. Grant, I'm not quite sure how to say this, but you're not allowed to ask that when someone's interviewing for a job. It's against the law. You want to call a cop? Uh, no. <laughs> Good. Would you think I was violating your civil rights if I asked if you're married? A Presbyterian. What? I decided I'd rather answer your uh, religion question. Divorced, huh? No. Separate? No. Never married? No. Why? Why? How am I supposed to answer a question like that? Forget it. Do you type? There's no simple answer to that question. Yes, there is. You can either say, no, I can't type, or yes, I can type. Oh, no, uh, there's no simple answer to uh, why a person isn't married. How many reasons can there be? Uh, 65. 65 reasons? Uh, words per minute. Let me guess. Why typing question? Yes. Look, miss, just so you're not the first person to get overtime on a job interview, Will you please answer the questions as I ask them? Yes, Mr. Grant, I could do that, but it does seem to me that you've been asking an awful lot of personal questions that don't have a thing to do with my qualifications for this job. You know what? You got spunk. <laughs> well... I hate spunk. <laughs> Tell you what. We'll try you for a couple of weeks, see how it works out. Oh. No matter what happens, no hard feelings. No, no. If I don't like you, I'll fire you. Right, right. If you don't like me, I'll fire you. <laughs> well, I, you know, that, that really seems fair. <laughs> oh, what, what is the job? Job doesn't pay as good as it sounds. Well, uh, what is it? The job that's open is associate producer. Associate producer? What's the matter? Nothing. I like it. <laughs> Associate producer. <laughs> Mary's making new friends. Make yourself at home on Tuesday. This week, Rhoda meets her new boss. You gotta be the rudest person I ever met. You never met my wife. 
I would be afraid to meet the woman who married you. I would, too. She died ten years ago. Then two girls face makeup group in advertising in the premiere of On Our Own. New comedy right after Rhoda. Sunday funny starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Later on, we'll tell you about our next chapter of Captain's Courageous. But first, we'd like to turn from the sea to outer space. So now, if you'll pardon me for just a minute, I'm going to do a quick change. Slip into my space suit, grow the quickest beard on record, and together we'll be off to the year 2200. Uh, just in time to meet the next flying saucer making a three-point landing on the Forbidden Planet. Oh, uh, it may surprise you to learn Forbidden Planet is the title of a new MGM picture. In it, I play Dr. Morbius, and Francis plays my daughter, and Leslie Nielsen and Warren Stevens are among the Earthmen who invade our planet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Forbidden Planet, the scene of the new production. But we have other things on this planet besides Earthmen and a robot. We have a force, an evil force, a monster. It comes one night to the spaceship, powerful, horrible, invisible. Those are the tracks of the monster. And those are solid steel steps bending beneath its awful weight. It's in the spaceship now, inside the great dome, where the crew lies sleeping. From the uh, super stratosphere and the year 2200, we come down to Earth again, or uh, rather down to the sea, where we can look into the somewhat nearer future, meaning next week. After a moment, we'll show you something of what Captain's Courageous holds in store for you. Captain's log, stardate 1672.9. Due to the malfunction of the ship's transporter, an unexplained duplicate of myself exists. What can I do for you, Jim? I said, give me the brandy! Come on, Spark, I know that look. What is it? Well, our good doctor said that you were acting like a wild man. <laughs> Captain. You started hurting me. I defied you. Fisher saw you too. It wasn't me. It was you, sir. I got a kick! The mighty hero who really rings the bell. That's right, it's your man from Bedrock, Fred Flintstone, rocking you with hysterical, prehistorical family comedy on The Flintstones. One egg or two, Fred. Yes, The Flintstones are cooking up some real surprises this year. You'll see big name guest stars like Anne Margrock. I ain't gonna be your fool no more. I'm crying till my eyes are so. Little Pebbles is cuter than ever. She really has a ball. And nothing can stop Fred and his friend Barney as they hot rod their way into new foul-up. Uh-oh, here comes the police. Watch the swinging show that everybody goes for. The Flintstones, every week on ABC TV. noticed wherever you find fun today you'll find pepsi cola light bracing clean tasting pepsi the lively crowd today agrees those who think young say pepsi please they pick the right one the modern light one now it's pepsi for those who think young 
When you say Pepsi, please, you're putting yourself among people who like their leisure. With Pepsi, the drink that's young. So go ahead and pick the drink that lets you drink young as you think. Yes, get the right one, the modern white one. Now it's Pepsi for those who think young. Sulky over funky, kind of hunky superhero. Fast to piston and electrically transistor superhero. And exotically erotic and aquatic superhero. The Marvel superheroes have arrived. Super Fireman, Watch them change their very shape before you know. Striking superhero tends to fighting superhero. A uh, humping and real swinging shield. Swinging superhero. They're the latest, they're the greatest, ultimate superheroes. The Marvel superheroes have arrived. As you leave the theater, folks, please be careful. Don't let this happen to your car. Be sure to remove the speaker before you leave. If you should accidentally pull a speaker loose, please turn it in at our snack bar or box office. Thanks. Please replace the speaker on its rack when you're ready to leave. Failure to do so will damage both the speaker and your car. We'll be grateful, and so will the patrons who follow you. Our national anthem. 